Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week, we're out here at the Cabarrus County Special Olympic Games. Right here at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Kasha's going to tell you all about that. Got a lot of great information on today's show. So if you're looking for the contact information, miss it on the show. Just go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. And it's right there. Today, CTW cheers on the athletes of the Cabarrus County Special Olympics taking place at the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center. The two-day competition begins with the opening ceremony, which includes the parade of athletes and the lighting of the torch. Special Olympics Cabarrus County serves more than 750 children and adults with disabilities, and this spring competition is one of the most highly anticipated Special Olympic events of the year. In addition to the high-spirited competition, the games feature a new partner this this year, the U.S. Army. The Army's premier parachute team, the Golden Knights, will jump from 10,000 feet in a dazzling display that makes the start of the spring game, followed by a performance by the Army Band. Special Olympics North Carolina held the first games in 1970 with 400 participants and has since grown to be recognized globally as one of the largest Special Olympics programs in the world. Their mission is to provide opportunities to develop physical fitness, demonstrate courage, experience joy, and participate in sharing of gifts, skills, and friendship with their families, other athletes, and the community. Special Olympics Cabarrus County offers sports training and competition in 15 Olympic-type sports to children and adults with intellectual disabilities, providing a safe environment for exploration, exercise, and team building. In addition to demonstrating abilities at a competitive level, athletes can receive training in public speaking, become coaches for Special Olympics, receive free health screenings at state-level events, and participate in sporting activities year-round. For more information on the year-round Cabarrus County Special Olympics, visit somc.net slash Cabarrus or call 704-454-7300. Well, Rob Wallace Park is ready for its close-up, okay? Now, the newest park in Cabarrus County is blooming in time for the dedication day. Join us on April 22nd at 10 a.m. for a brief ceremony honoring Rob and Donna Wallace. Now, stay for an adventure with a variety of activities and competitions. Now, you know, everybody can bring their lunch for a picnic at the park and your bikes to kind of test the tricks in the skills area. Now, the Cabarrus County Public Library brings the Mad Scientist. Okay, that'll be good. For a performance at 11 a.m. in the day with a nice stretch, yoga in the park at 1.30 p.m. So for more information on the dedication day, April 22nd, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-3484. New York Times best-selling poetry author Robert Morgan visits the Concord branch of the library on Saturday, April 22nd at 2 p.m. Morgan, author of several books of poetry and fiction, including novel Gap Creek, will discuss a selection of his books, many of which are set in the Carolinas. He'll also take questions from the audience. For more information on author Robert Morgan's visit on April 22nd at 2 p.m. Concord Branch, visit cabarruscounty.us slash onctw or call 704-920-2050. Spend spring break at the Mount Pleasant branch of the library with the Mad Scientist. That's on Thursday, April the 20th at 1 p.m. Kind of super secret slime recipe is revealed in this ooey gooey chemistry class. That's great. Okay, now kids will learn the science behind polymers and compete in the Mad Scientist Slime Olympics. Okay, for more information on Slippery Slime Science Workshop on April the 20th at 1 p.m. Mount Pleasant Branch of the Library, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2202. Silver Arts Follies and Cheerleading Showcase is a platform for performance and provides the community with a sampling of the arts. Local seniors take the stage on Tuesday, April 25th at 6.30 p.m. That's at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center right here for a night of singing, dancing, and cheering and more. Tickets are $5 for adults, $3 for children 12 and younger. Tickets are available at the Cabarrus County Senior Centers in Concord and Mount Pleasant or may be purchased at the door. For more information about the Silver Arts Follies and Cheerleaders Showcase taking place Tuesday, April 25th at 6.30 p.m., Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, call 704-920-3484. In honor of the centennial of America's entry into World War I, historian G Gary Fries of Catawba College gives a presentation about the 
pro-German and anti-war sentiment in Cabarrus County during the First World War. The presentation is on Monday, April the 24th at 6 p.m. at the Concord Branch of the Library. So for more information on Cabarrus County during World War I, April 24th at 6 p.m., Concord Branch of the Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2050. Kannapolis is jazzing up for the Veterans Park Sunday afternoons with a new four-week jazz series from 1 to 3 p.m. each Sunday beginning April 23rd through May 14th. Jazz music will fill the air for everyone to enjoy. The Dwayne Jordan Trio is first up in the series. All the concerts are free. For more information on the Dwayne Jordan Trio, April 23rd, 1 to 3 p.m. at Veterans Park in Kannapolis, visit kannapolisnc.gov or call 704-920-4343. Now Steve Langley brings his bubbles, okay, to the Canapolis for a tale under the night sky. Stories Under the Stars is Saturday, April the 22nd, 7 p.m. at the patio at the Canapolis branch of the library. So enjoy kind of popcorn from the gym theater on top of it. Hey, it's all good. So for more information on Stories Under the Stars, April 22nd, 7 p.m., Canapolis branch of the library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-1180. Bring your blanket and a flashlight for a star-filled night during Stargazers on Saturday, April 22nd, 8 p.m. to midnight at Rob Wallace Park. Enjoy a night of astronomy with telescopes, constellations, s'mores, and with weather cooperation, a meteor shower. Meet the ranger at the open shelter to begin this galactic journey. For more information on Stargazers, April 22nd, 8 p.m. to midnight at Rob Wallace Park, Visit CabarrusCounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Spend the summer getting in shape during Fit Camp at Frank Liss Park. Kids ages 10 to 14 will learn about various types of exercise and healthy lifestyle habits during this six-day session. Now, the first session runs Tuesday through Thursday of two consecutive weeks, June 20th through the 29th, cost is $70. So for more information or to register for Fit Camp, June 20th to 29th, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Six-time Tony Award-winning musical comedy Days Buse at the Old Courthouse Theater mm. on April 20th. It's The Music Man. It's a wicked, oh, yeah. funny, warm, and romantic musical that will entertain the whole family. And guess who was once in The Music oh, Man? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The Music Man follows talking traveling salesman Harold Hill as he calls the people of Riverside right here in River City, Iowa into bringing instruments and uniforms for the boys band he vows to organize. This is despite the fact he doesn't know a trombone from a treble clef. <laughs> yes. For more information on the music band April 20th through May 7th at the Old Courthouse Theater, visit courthousetheater.org or call 704-788-2405. You can protect your personal information and help the recycling effort by shedding your personal documents on April the 22nd. Now, each resident can bring up to three regular-sized trash bags or banker boxes. So bring your items to shred to the Village parking lot. It's located at 280 Concord Parkway North. It's right behind Arby's from 9 to 11 a.m. So for more information on the shred event, April 22nd, call 704-920-3209. Jiggy with the Piggy Festival is May 5th and 6th and has something for everyone. A Kansas City barbecue competition, rides, arts, craft mm. vendors, concerts, movies in the park, and a lot more. To register for the 5K race on May 2nd, visit runkanapolis.com. The festival is also looking for volunteers to make this event go off without a hitch. To sign up for a shift, visit signupgenius.com and search Jiggy with the Piggy. For more information on Jiggy with the Piggy Festival, visit KannapolisNC.gov or call 704-920-4343. Now, the Cabarrus County Public Library System is going to close all its branches on Wednesday, April the 26th. They're going to do that for staff training. Now, library card holders can still access the online resources 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So visit CabarrusCounty.us slash library for more information. Now, I know we've had a lot of information on today's show, a lot of it. So if you missed any of the contact info, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW, and it's right there. We're headed into the season of fun mm. in Cabarrus County, so you don't want to miss anything. Sign up for our newsletter. Go to cabarruscounty.us on the top right side of the page. We'll have a little information. Or text CTW to 22828. 
And of course, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Right. Get all this information and more. And if you have family and friends that don't have Spectrum Cable, can't see us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get a chance, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash cabcotv, and up comes the media page with all the information, all our different shows, and the playlist right there so you can watch them at your leisure. I tell you, this is always such an inspiring event, the Special Olympic Games out here, and it really is. Cabarrus County does a great job with this. The whole community comes together, and we want to thank the Golden Knights for making this oh, such yes. a memorable show and performance and exciting event. Yeah, until next week, you have a great one. Take care.